question is, do you think Rebel Moon looks good or do you think it looks great? Oh, I think it's a uh, great. This is a potentially big, big franchise for the future. I believe you are indeed correct, but people might disagree. And if you disagree, that's absolutely fine. You're entitled to your opinion. The film hasn't come out yet. So as of now, you cannot technically be wrong. But once it does come out, that opinion will be, well, invalid. But we've got to do fact of the day, page number 172, fact number. Two. In 2003, six monkeys were funded by the Arts Council of England to see how long it would take them to type the words of Shakespeare. After six months, they had failed to produce a single word of English, broken the computer and used the keyboard as a lavatory. Sounds about right, honestly. Well, monkey say, monkey do, monkey see, monkey do, monkey pee, monkey poo. <laughs> Very nice. I wasn't sure where I was going with it, but then eventually it all comes it good, landed. doesn't it? Hey, no original the comic can. Yes, so. and right now we're quickly going to be talking about Rebel Moon because I found out some information about this Netflix original movie. Please. The information was the budget. Oh, now, how big? Now, what do you think the budget of this movie is? Considering we see these modern day big budget box office movies, The Flash, 250, 300 million. Fast 10, 300 million. Okay, this is for part one and not part two. They filmed them back to back. So oh. part one and two. Oh. For a ballpark, Avengers, Endgame and Infinity War were filmed back to back and cost about five to six hundred million dollars. I think they would have gotten both of them done yeah. for 280. That is low. That is low. That is low. I no, you're they, wrong. Oh, I, I hope they pinched you're their wrong. pennies. It's lower than that. <gasps> Whoa, they did pinch their pennies! <laughs> really? Lower than 280. Even almost, well, almost half. 200? 150? 170 million apparently between the two movies is what they gave him which is unbelievable when you look at what we got because there were moments where i thought oh this has been done cheaply but not badly just it looks in a certain style yeah in the trailer for a film like this that is this fantasy sci-fi action mm -hmm. with these beasts and a lot of technology that's basically a shoestring budget it is isn't it yeah i thought they would have given him two three hundred a movie well, they it... gave him less than a hundred a movie i guess that kind of shows the way in which they produced this they said you know let's pair it back mm -hmm. let's really understand what the story needs and how we can do that for a good price. What I did read as well is that there's gonna be an extended cut of the movie oh. that is gonna be R-rated. Oh. So the main film is gonna be PG-13, probably two hours, two hour, 10 minutes, but the extended is gonna be up to three hours and R-rated. That's an absolute yes. And that's all within this sub $200 million budget for both movies. It doesn't happen. No. The fact they've been able to do this is actually pretty ridiculous and it shows this is how movies should be made. Don't just give a 250, 300, 400 million dollar budget to a movie. Actually say no, you're getting 150. No, you're getting 100. Do what you can. If it's a 90 minute runtime, make it 86. If it's 120, make it 110 and then make the movie you want in that time period. That's honestly smart. And I do hope it does get a cinema release because with that type of budget, $90 million for the first one, it only needs 220 to break even. That's smart. That's low. That is really, really low. And I think within two, three weeks can make that. Yeah. So if Netflix had any common sense, they would be doing an exclusive theater on for one week, two weeks, even a month, a month. and then dropping it on Netflix. But they want to get people to subscribe to the service. So I get it. they have the control of it. They will see closer to the time what they want to do. But as of this moment in time, it is indeed exclusively and only on Netflix. No, it looks like it's made for the big screen mm -hmm. to be sat there in the cinema, experience it with people who, like you, have never seen anything like it because it's a new story. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy that video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't. Then a hippogriff's gonna come off. You yeah. do not no, want that. No, they do not, do they? No, you do not want that. <laughs> so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. Now, I've been on Sensei. I've been the Ranger of the Comic. You have been great. And We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, we make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over five years now. And we aren't stopping until it gets 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back in tomorrow for some of that quality shitty content. Because we're hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. We also bring the bequas. Bequas means nonsense in Punjabi. We also bring that. Bring a lot. Bring a little. Do a lot. Do a little. But we do indeed bring that quality shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow for more of the same. 
slightly different, but essentially the very same once more. See you there. Skadoosh. <laughs> Take that, you freaking psycho! I got you! <laughs>